Okay. Okay. Every one of them. All right, that's okay. No, my son's a GA. It's not okay. I didn't say that. Maybe you should just let him know because they're all in tears. Is there a man here with you? I do. I cuss a lot. I cuss in front of them. So look, I cuss a lot. All right, that's okay. No, my son's a GA. It's not okay. Is there a man here with you? Is not a man here with you? But I'm here. Why, what does that matter? Because I'm my son is leaving. Man. I don't care. It's my son. Okay, so tell them. Oh, you you do? They all but I'll tell them that if they're not doing what they need to do, then yes, there's consequences to that. Yeah. If it takes that amount of time for when I tell a kid to oh, do stop. something and they're not doing what they're supposed no. to do, then there is consequences like push ups, like running laps, like telling like them to get away from your drill, like telling them to get out of my drill if they're not participating. Get doing out of your right. Drill. Get out of, I'm not you know, get the out of my drill, out of my drill, or whatever it takes to get my drill. Let me tell you, as a boxing coach, I love this video. Hats off to Marshawn Lynch. Clap it up for Marshawn Lynch. Clap it up, because damn it, listen, we've got to get these kids in order, okay? Privilege does not exist in sports. Privilege does not exist in contact sports. You got to let these young men grow up with their community you have to let young men get tough love notice how they responded when he asked is there a man here with you froze they froze he asked the other one is there a man here with you i'd rather deal with the man because men are supposed to understand that hey there are consequences to your actions and this is simply tough love tough love what they're gonna do with their privilege and their don't hurt my baby, don't talk to my baby like that, is they're gonna raise weaklings who cannot handle anything that life and society will throw at them. Because society is gonna throw some tough stones at you in life. And people who have lived long enough know this. You know that life is going to test you. And if you can't take being talked to a certain way, then life is going to break you. Life is going to break you. This is a sport, the sport of football. You're going to get hit. In the sport of boxing that I teach, you are going to get hit 100% of the time. And you're going to have to learn to stay in character and to come back tactfully and win no matter what happens to you. No privilege in contact sports. Even with my coaching, I don't allow parents to sit there with me while I coach kids. You can't be there. You drop your kid off and you leave. And I'm never one-on-one -on -one with the kids. I'm in there with a group of kids. But listen, you are not going to coddle your child when they are supposed to be pressed to perform at a higher rate than what they're supposed to be. That's what they're there for in the first place. Coaches are there as far as the village. We're neglecting the village. You know, no man stepped to beast mode. I mean, I don't think that's a smart idea anyway. But no man stepped to him and said anything out of pocket. It's just these overprotective parents that are going to raise weak men. They're going to raise weak men with no character who feels like mommy's going to come and save me all the time when something happens and somebody says something out of pocket. Here comes mommy. Nah. Great job, beast mode. Stay on it. I love the video. I love the response. We need more of this in our communities nowadays. We've got to have tough love out there. Tough love is the love that's going to build character in young men into adulthood.